Hi, I'm Celestine and welcome to this hip and lower back opener. We're going to be doing some slow restorative stretches to open up everything that may be feeling tight with you. Now, one thing is if you have a lot of tightness in your lower back, two areas you want to focus in are your upper body and your hips. By getting your upper thoracic spine mobile and getting your hips nice and open, you're going to feel a lot less tension in your low back. So we'll be focusing a little bit on that and we'll just be using our breath to really allow the muscles to relax and to feel expansion. So with that, meet me on the mat. All you need is your pee ball and we'll get started. I want you to come to hands and knees position. Get nice and long through your spine. And we're going to circle our hips back, take it front and take it around. You're gonna do this four times and then we'll reverse the circle. Nice and slow. What this is going to do is just allow the hips to start to release as you move in every different direction. And reverse it. Circle around. Feeling the stretch in your hips. Feeling the spine start to move. And come back to center. Now you're going to arch in your back lifting it up towards the ceiling, just rounding up into that nice uh, cat position, and then slowly arch back down into the cow position, looking up gently, and slowly take it back up, rounding through the spine, and take it back, really reach, don't be aggressive as you're doing this. Just keep everything nice and slow. And find now your neutral spine position. Engage your abdominals and shift your hips back slowly towards your heels, feeling the length. The minute you start to feel like your butt is tucking under, you've gone too far. So don't let that happen. Keep everything nice and straight and just lengthen through the spine, really feeling the stretch in the glutes all the way up the low back. And then take it back to that center position. So slow shift back and release. Two more times. And then you're gonna be like a happy dog. You're going to wiggle your hips to the right and to the left. Lifting your hip bone up to your armpit. So you do a little armpit lift with the hip bone going up that way and then to the other direction. Or if you had a tail, you'd be wagging your tail right and left, just allowing the hips to release. And you got two more. Final one. Now, shift all the way back into child's pose. This time you can let your glutes tuck under to that nice natural position. We're gonna use our breath here. Rest your head on your hands, pull your hands in towards your body, and just take a big breath in through your nose. Feel your ribs expand as your lungs fill with air. Exhale, let the ribs relax. Let the muscles in between the ribs relax. Let all the air out and let everything become smaller in your body. Again, big breath in. Feel your back stretch as your lungs fill with air and you try to fill every crevice in your lungs. Exhale. Let it release. Two more times, big breath in. Slowly exhale. You should feel a nice stretch all the way from your upper back to your lower back. Final breath. And release. Now, reach your hands over to one side, keeping in that child's pose position and stretching that side body on the opposite side. So my hands go to the front corner of the mat. Again, using that big body expansion, breathe in, breathe out. 
you'll feel a huge stretch on your lower back. This area is, one of the muscles on that area is called the QL. And we're just trying to release it by just holding the stretch. Another big breath in. And release. Now watch me real quickly. What you don't want to do is when you're breathing, you don't want to lift your shoulders in and move your shoulders around. You want to keep those nice and down. So when you go to the other side, do the same thing. Use your ribs to expand. So you're letting the lungs fill with air. Feel your ribs move out as the muscles in between your ribs stretch. And then exhale. Let it go. These are called our intercostal muscles. And you're just trying to expand them to release any tension, tightness you may feel in your back. Final one. Take it to center now and pull your elbows towards your knees. Take one hand behind your head. And you're gonna rotate from your thoracic spine, which is your mid back area. So lift your elbow up towards the ceiling. You may not have that range of motion today, but keep practicing so you can really open up, looking up towards the ceiling, getting the rotation from where your bra line area is or that mid back area. And then you close everything down and you lower towards the floor. You got four of these. So you rotate up. And the reason you wanna stay down here is to keep your low back out of the rotation. If this doesn't feel good for you, grab your pee ball, lay it on your thighs and fall back down and then just rotate resting your stomach or your belly on to your pee ball. If you don't have that extension, flexion of the back. Final one. And other side. Take your hand onto your head. Elbow is going to drive up towards the ceiling. You get that rotation from the upper back and then you slowly lower it back down. Now, if this doesn't feel comfortable with the pee ball, Move it out of the way and just lay down onto your thighs with your belly. You just try to rotate from that thoracic area, not from the low back. So we're laying down onto our thighs just to keep the low back out of the picture and just trying to get that range of motion from the upper area. Last two. And final one. And release. Good. Shake it out. You're gonna come here to your hands and knees again. And this time, straighten your legs, push your heels to the floor into your downward dog position. And you can just kind of wiggle your hips side to side. We're now gonna stretch the back side of our hamstrings. So you're just gonna wiggle, wiggle, side to side. You don't have to push the heels all the way down. You can even just stay still and just breathe into the position pushing your chest towards your thighs, lengthening the hamstrings, the glutes. And then when you're ready, come to your plank position, step your right foot forward and place that foot right by your right hand. And just do a little rock back and forth, stretching the front side of your hip, your hip flexor, little rock. And then drop your back knee down onto the mat. Drop it down and feel everything stretch on the inside of your thighs and pick up your knee. Three more. Slowly drop it down, let it rest, and then slowly pick it up. Two left. And back to your thoracic rotation. Stay with your knee down on the floor and reach your same hand that's closest to your foot up towards the ceiling, rotate and stretch, and take your hand back down. You can also keep your leg up and hover into this deep runner's lunge position, and you stretch, if that feels better for you. Look up towards the ceiling, or you keep that knee down, and you rotate from your upper back, and you release it. Nice job. Now, rock your hip back and reach your glutes towards the heel of the back foot and straighten up through the front leg. If you're not able to reach from this position, then you can hold onto a foam roller, you can hold onto a piece of furniture, and you can be a little bit more upright as you're rocking back and forth. 
or if you have that flexibility, keep your hands on the floor. Just take a slow rock back, almost straightening the front leg, but do not lock it out. And then take it back and release. Two more rocks like this. And final one. Back to your plank position. Pick up the back knee, step your foot back behind you, and then go to downward dog. Stretch your hamstrings again, stretch your glutes. Pedal your feet nice and slow. Let your head relax into the stretch. Breathe. And then we'll go to the other side. Now, step your left foot to your left hand, holding that plank position. And you just do a little rock back and forth, opening up the front side of your hip, your hip flexor. And drop your knee down towards the floor, rest and release, and then take it up and stretch. Tap it down. You can also have some blocks, you can have some books where your hands are so that you're a little bit more elevated and you don't have to be in this deep of a stretch if you don't have that range of motion just yet. Last one. Hold it down here. Pull your left elbow up towards the ceiling, left hand up towards the ceiling. Get the rotation from your upper back, stretch. And take your hand to the floor. Relax into it. Rotate and reach. Take it down. Breathe. And final one. Now, shift your hips back and straighten the front leg and reach. And then rock your hips forward and release. Again, if you need to hold onto the foam roller, if you need to have some yoga blocks here, if you need to have some books to elevate your hands so you maybe you're in this position and you're not able to touch the floor, please feel free to get those, pause the video, get them so that you can feel comfortable in these stretches. What you don't wanna do is be gripping and clenching. You wanna try to completely relax into the body so that you can get the full benefit of the stretch. Stay here for a second and just hold it. Breathe. and take it back, pick up the back knee, foot goes back behind you to plank position, and downward dog, final stretch of those hamstrings. And then you'll drop your knees to the floor, and we're gonna come to stretching the inner thigh now. So you're gonna sit down, Sit up nice and tall. If you need to put pillows underneath your glutes to see it a little bit more elevated, if you're like this and you don't feel comfortable, please get some pillows and you can elevate your hips. Feet are gonna be touching together, the bases of the feet. You sit up tall. We're just gonna move our legs, butterfly stretch, little flaps. And once you feel comfortable and you feel like you're not super tight in the hips and you're able to relax into it, Take a big breath in. Then exhale, fold forward. And find that position. Maybe you need to have your feet a little bit more forward. Maybe you need to be a little bit more in. Wherever you feel like you can get that deep stretch in the hips. You're just gonna hold it here and just breathe into the stretch. If you need to come out of it at any time, shake it out and move into it again. <sighs> Gently come up, sit up nice and tall, lengthen through your spine and try that again without rounding in your body. So you fold over and reach with a straight back. Maybe you don't go as far this time, but using that length just to open up the backside of your body And now let your head go and you can round in your spine just to stretch the back. And gently come up. Next, take one foot out to the side. Other foot is still in that butterfly position. 
You can use your pee ball and place the strap around your toe if you can't reach for your foot. And you're gonna reach, twist your body forward and slowly pull the strap, allowing your chest to fall down onto the thigh and just breathe into the stretch. You'll feel a deep stretch on that QL again on the back side of the, um, your back. And you'll feel a deep stretch in your hamstrings, a little bit of a stretch here in your inner thigh. Gently come up. If you don't need the pee ball, take it away and then reach your opposite hand over and reach for your toe. If you do need that strap, again, keep the strap here. You're just gonna hold on to it, trying to fold over. Now what you want, don't wanna do is fold over like this and stretch. You wanna open up through your chest. So maybe you just don't even touch your foot and you hold your strap with your other hand and you just lengthen through your side body, holding the position. Gently come up. Nice job. Take it to the other side, do the same thing. So sitting up nice and tall, twist your chest towards your foot, place the strap on the foot and you just grab onto the strap and maybe you're just here today. Just breathe into it. Hold it, if you start to shake, maybe just ease off a little bit. Or maybe you can go all the way down and really hold the position and stretch. Maybe you don't need the ball. And you just hold the bottom of your foot. Generally, you wanna hold a stretch anywhere from 30 seconds and on. So just take your time. And the reason for this is that the longer you hold a stretch, the less tightness that your muscles sense that there is, your muscle is safe and it'll send a signal to your brain to not have the muscle contract and then you'll get a little bit more depth in your stretch. So just relax into the position, let your body do its best to just release. You just breathe into it, gently come up. And now you're gonna lift up, opposite arm, fold over, reach for your toe. Again, maybe you cannot touch your foot today. Maybe you need that strap. Take the pee ball, hold it with your other hand, and you just hold the position, keeping your chest open. So you really get that side bend just on your body and you get that lateral stretch on your lower back. Takes a round consistently doing this at least I would say three to four times per week to start to see results. But if you do this for like a month to two, you notice a big difference. So if anything, when you're doing your stretches, after you finish your workout, give yourself five minutes and focus on one spot and just hold it and just breathe into the stretch. Now, if you're already a very flexible person or you have a condition where you have very mobile joints, I don't recommend stretching as much just to protect yourself. I recommend doing more strengthening exercises come out of it and release rather than a lot of mobility exercises because you don't want to overstretch the ligaments which can cause you to not have stability in your joints. You always want to have stability and you want to have mobility. Now take both feet forward, open them out to the sides, either have your ball in the front of you, you can place your hands on it, you just lower your chest towards the ball and maybe you're only here today. That's okay. Maybe you just want your hands on the floor and you can only just hold in this position. But we're trying to open up our inner thighs. You're just gonna breathe into the stretch and hold the position. Again, get that big back body expansion and then exhale, release. Maybe you wanna use the ball, put your hands on it, and you just roll yourself forward, taking it down, and you roll yourself up. Or maybe you just walk your hands slightly forward, lowering your elbows, and you take it up. But just wherever position you are, just hold it. You could do the rock forward and back, but then you just sit into the stretch and breathe into it. Very important that you do not stretch when you're cold. So always warm up before you do any of these exercises to keep your muscles happy. It's kind of like a rubber band. You don't want to stretch a cold rubber band. You want it to be warm. And um, so that way it has that elasticity. It's the same with your muscles. Breathe into it. Toes look up towards the ceiling. Don't let those toes fall forward if all possible.
Let's give it another 10 seconds. If your legs are screaming at you, then you just take a break and go back into the stretch. This is a really good one to do so that you can lift your leg up to the side. You can do your open step position when you're doing your strength and sculpt exercises. And it also just allows you to get better mobility in the hips so that your hips are nice and mobile. They're able to move properly and they don't cause tightness in the lower body, which goes into the lower back. Last time, big breath. And release. Gently walk your hands back into center. Now, you're going to have your feet planted on the floor and you're sitting back, you can put your hands on the floor behind you. You're gonna sway your hips over to one side and drop your feet to one side, making an L shape with your leg and an L shape with your leg. This is called the 90-90 hip rotation. Lift up your knees and then 90-90, take it to the other side. We'll do this three more times. So a little rotation, little rotation. I'm gonna show you from the side so you can see what it looks like from this direction. You're sitting up tall, and then you rotate. And you rotate. Let's do that one more time. Now stay here to the front. Again, you're gonna have that L shape with your legs. If this does not feel good for you, if it feels uncomfortable in your knees, you can pull your feet in closer to your body and that should feel a little better. You can also use your ball, place it on your thigh, and we're gonna fold over the front. So maybe you just rest your chest on the ball and this is where you are today. Just lay in the position and allow your glute of the front leg to stretch. Breathe into it. Maybe you don't need the ball and you can just fold all the way down. The closer your feet are to your body, the less intense the stretch. The further the feet are away, the more intense the stretch will be. So you find the position where it's comfortable for you and just continue to work on it. Keep on practicing. Use that back body expansion, breathing from your mid back area. Take a deep breath and expand your ribs. Two more deep breaths. Notice how your body will start to fall forward on your leg as you just allow gravity to pull you down and you're just easing into the stretch. Maybe this is killing you right now, so just find the position that's good for you and don't force it. Gently come up. Nice work. Release. Now, you're going to take one leg straight and cross the other leg over and then sit up nice and tall and then rotate into the stretch, spinal twist opening up the glute, twist away. Or you can bend that bottom leg and cross the other leg on top. Again, hook your knee into your elbow crease, lift up tall, and then spinal stretch, twisting away. You'll feel the lower back slightly release. You're rotating from your upper back and you're just feeling everything open up and lengthen. Big breath in, exhale, and release. Switch it, take it to the other side, and then we'll go back to that 90-90 stretch. So take your opposite leg, cross it over the one side, hook your knee into your elbow crease, sit up tall, twist and rotate into that nice spinal stretch, trying to get the rotation from your upper back. Look behind you. Feel the whole glute lengthen, the outer thigh lengthen, even the back of the hamstring slightly lengthen. Now, if you want a deeper stretch, or if this was a deep stretch for you, cross that bottom leg over, and again, take the other leg past the knee, sit up tall, hook the knee into the elbow crease, and then rotate and stretch.
and gently come out of it. Take your top leg that you just had hooked and take it to the behind position, back to your 90-90, and we'll stretch the other glute. Fold forward again. If you need the ball, place the ball on your thigh and just gently fold over and just breathe into the stretch. Again, the further your foot is away from your body, the more intense the stretch. What you're doing is you're in internal rotation on the back leg, external rotation on the front leg. You're just trying to open up through the glute. Maybe you don't need the ball and maybe you want to go really deep into that stretch. Fold over front. Maybe your foot needs to come in closer and your back foot needs to come in closer and you're just holding the stretch from that position. Two more big breaths in, in through the nose. Expand your back, exhale from your mouth. Allow everything to open up and release. Big breath in. Big breath out. Gently come up. And now what you're gonna do is either two ways that you can do this. We're gonna stretch the top of the thigh. So you're going to have one leg straight, bend one leg and put your heel right next to your glute. You're going to shift back and lean back into the stretch. If this does not feel good for you, if it feels uncomfortable on your knee, an alternative is to stand up. You can have a chair, you can have a countertop or whatever you need. And you're just going to pull your heel towards your butt don't let your knee stand, stay forward. Keep that knee in line with the other leg. And you're just gonna stand and hold the stretch, breathing into this position. If you're not able to reach your foot, you can also take your pee ball and hook it to the bottom of your foot and then hold the position just like this. So that's your variations. Otherwise, meet me on the mat. Take your foot back. And maybe you're just here. If you need to just hold a stretch like this and this is enough for you, stay here. Otherwise, you lean back into the position and you just breathe and hold a stretch. Sometimes this is uncomfortable for people, so you need to find the variation that's good for you. I will show you another one on the other side. Or if you have really that mobility, you can also lay all the way down and just try to let the quad lengthen. This muscle gets tight a lot and when it's tight, it can cause you to have that anterior tilt. So make sure you tuck under your butt and also that you, um, if you're standing, do the same thing. Don't let your butt stick out, tuck it under. So you really get that stretch on the front side of your thigh. We do a lot of stretching when we take our foot back to six o'clock behind us, when we um, are in that position in the step back. And this is the same thing that will open up the thigh, but this is a little bit more static rather than dynamic. And you can see my quad is pretty tight because I'm lifting my knee off of the mat. But as you get more flexible, you'll be able to keep that leg completely rested on the mat. Two more breaths in. Don't let your foot go out to the side so you're not twerking too much in that knee. Last one. Gently, gently come up. I'm gonna show you another variation now. So. Come up to your kneeling position in that runner's lunge. And in this one, you can again use the pee ball if you need to. You would put your ball with your toe on the, on the foot like that. And you're just gonna be on your knee and you'll just pull the heel towards your butt and you're just pulling from that strap. So that's one variation that you can do if this feels good for you. Or you don't use your pee ball and you just use your hand and you pull your heel to your butt. And again, you're gonna hold the stretch, breathing into it. So decide if you need to do the standing variation, the laying back variation, or you're doing this running, uh, running lunge variation. Maybe you need to put your hands on a book if you're in this position because you can't touch your hand on the floor. That's absolutely fine as well. Maybe you have some yoga blocks. Slowly let the legs straighten out. Be very, very mindful and we'll switch it to the other side. 
So take your foot forward. You're sitting back on your other leg. Other leg is straight. Have that foot directly to the side of your thigh. You're gonna lean back. You could also have the pee ball behind your low back to support you. You just kind of lay on it and just rest in this position here. So you can use that low back support, just have a little bit instead of putting it all onto your shoulders. And you just hold a stretch. Or if you want that deeper stretch, get the pee ball out of the way and just be very, very, very gentle as you lay down. There is one other variation that you can try. You would need a couch or you would have to go against the wall. And when you go against the wall, you can place your foot on the couch or your top of your shoelaces against the wall and then you scoot your hips back towards the wall and that's called a couch stretch. So that's another variation you can try. I will show that to you as well next. Gently come up. And let's go back to that runner's lunge position and pull the front leg in, shift your weight, take your knee back behind you. And again, if you need to use the pee ball, place your toe through the hook or the strap area, shift your weight forward, and then pull your heel to your butt. Maybe you're just here today. And you just breathe into the stretch or you don't need the pee ball. Take your hand and pull your heel to your butt just hold the stretch, lengthening through your body. Don't over pull. If you've, anything feels uncomfortable, do not um, uh, become aggressive. Breathe into it. And I'm gonna show you one last variation. We're not gonna hold it, but I just wanna show you so you have that option as well. Gently, gently come out of it. What you're gonna need to do is either have your pee ball, which I don't recommend, I recommend the foam roller or you have a, um, something by you to support you, like um, a chair. You're gonna fold your mat in half. You can take the mat next to the wall or to your sofa and you're going to prop your foot against the wall. You scoot back and you can hold onto the pee ball and just stay in this position or you push your body all the way upright Scoot yourself as close as you can towards the wall, foot up towards the wall, and then you stay nice and tall and you will feel a huge stretch all in the front side of your thigh. You tuck your butt under, don't be sticking out and arching like this, tuck under. And again, you would wanna have a chair or something so that you can hold on to it, like I can hold on to this ledge on the windowsill and just breathe into this stretch. So this is called a couch stretch variation. Um, it's another option that you can do to open up the front side of your thigh. I won't do the other side, but now you know what to do. Let's take it back to the mat. We're gonna finish this off with some breath work and we'll be done. All right, so sitting up nice and tall, Big breath in, let your shoulders go to your ears. Exhale, let the shoulders release. Big breath in. Exhale. Final breath, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, take it at center. Lower the hands down and there you go. Thank you so much for joining today. There is also a hip release series if you would like to have more than just this one individual stretching routine. With that, thank you so much for being here and I'll see you again soon. Take care.